Hi everybody! Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite Greek islands which is Crete. My name is Steph from Mel365 and this video is about the best areas where you can spend your holiday and your stay in Crete. In this video I'm not gonna talk about the single hotels, that's not the subject of this video. I'm gonna talk more about the areas, the villages, the towns where you can spend your time because maybe you're traveling with your uh, partner or you're traveling with kids or you want just to have a quiet or maybe some nightlife. However, I wrote a post and I put a link into the description where you can see more information besides maps, restaurants and also a few picked hotels. So let's start with the areas that you may want to look into if you are after a holiday full of beach time. The first place is Hania. Hania is the second main town in Crete and that's where you find the second airport as well. It has a nice local beach, actually a couple of local beaches where you can spend time and you can walk there. But it has access to two of the most amazing beaches in Crete. The first one is the Lafonisi beach incredible with a sand which is sort of white pinkish absolutely a dream with blue water and the second one is Balos beach and this is a blue lagoon which you can reach either by car or by boat incredible places two of the best beaches i think of Greece. The second possibility is the Sitia on the eastern side of uh, the island. In this case you will find uh, a town which is not as touristy as Hania and that's perfect if you're looking for a quieter place. There is also an airport in Sitia, however it doesn't connect many destinations. I took it once from the north of Greece and they had only one flight a week. Why Sitia? Because it has a nice local beach Plus, you have easy access to one of the most amazing beaches in Europe, which is Palm Beach or Bay Beach. This is the biggest Palm Beach that you can find in Europe, and it's like suddenly being in the Caribbean. <laughs> If you're traveling with your partner you want to have some more romantic time, Hanya can be a little bit busy for that. In this case I would suggest another couple of destinations, which the first one is Lutro on the southwest coast of the island. This is a part of the island that is accessible only by boat, which is amazing. There are no cars, so it's only pedestrian area. It is a nice little beach with a small pier and you have access also to other beaches around, incredible walks absolutely fantastic, very quiet, very romantic. Another possibility closer to Heraklion is Sisi. This is a, a small village with a little port and an inlet where you can have your nice dinner. Uh, another couple of places that were great for couples uh, and these are Maleme and Paleochora. However, I'm not going to talk about that. I've added that into the post that uh, uh, you can see the link in the description of this video and that's where you will find more information including also some hotels which I suggest. If you're traveling with kids, look, there are a few places actually I suggest. Uh, depends on the age of the kid, obviously. If you're traveling with four years old, it's different from uh, 16 years old. Uh, Agus Nicolos is uh, one of my favorite. It's on the uh, eastern side of the island. It's about one hour and a half from the airport of Iraq. And it's one of my favorite because it has a nice inlet that creates a small lake. It's all pedestrian area, big square. Uh, there are a couple of um, playgrounds in case you have uh, small kids. But the most important is that it's all pedestrian. So 
you know, you can leave your kids walking around without the problem of cars. And there are a couple of shopping streets, it's at again pedestrian, uh, so you can walk without any worries. There are the two free beaches around, which are small, uh, so you have really a nice um, selection of things that you can do with the family. If you book your flight to Crete for more of a uh, nightlife and clubbing time, then there are two areas which are southeast of uh, Heraklion, which work fantastically well. And these two areas are Malia and Ersonisos. The difference between the two actually is only about the crowd that is into these towns. Malia tends to have more of a British crowd, meanwhile Ersonis has more international. Both areas have a nice beach where you can spend the daytime, but the focus is really into the bars, clubs and nightlife that both Malia and the Sonisos can offer. There uh, are another two places I want to mention in this video. The first one is Heraklion, which is the main city of Crete with the biggest airport of the island. This is a fantastic spot to be if you want to visit Knossos, which is the oldest city in Europe dating back to the Bronze Age. Uh, it's a must see, it doesn't matter if you don't want to spend the whole holiday in Heraklion, which anyway I wouldn't suggest because there is not actually a beach there. So it's good for shopping, it's good for visiting Knossos, so it's perfect for one night, maybe at the beginning or at the end of your stays. Uh, I must say that Knossos can be also visited from any place you stay in the south coast with a short one hour, one hour and a half trip. So it's up to you, but Knossos is definitely a must visit in the island. Another town I want to mention is Refimno, which is, sits be halfway between Hania and Heraklion. Uh, Refimno, in my opinion, has the best old town centre that you can find in Crete, is within Venetian walls. Uh, it dates back obviously to 600 years ago with a little pier area, absolutely gorgeous. It has also an amazing uh, cuisine. It's a little bit special of this area and uh, it's a fusion of typical Greek cuisine uh, with the Middle East. We use a lot of honey in uh, the kitchen here. Absolutely incredible. I must have gained a couple of kilos when I was there. And that's it about this island. Of course, there are so many other places, but these other places uh, I personally would focus more for the visiting Crete. And uh, if you like this video, obviously just put a like, <laughs> and uh, you know, I really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel for more videos about uh, Crete and about Greece, and tick that little bell to be notified. See you in the next video.